this is an interesting case where the pupil is mid dilated and non dilating there is a capsular zonular weakness which we will notice also the capsule resis was very small and vertically linearly oval which required capsuloplasty followed by a correction of 0.8 diopters of astigmatism because this patient was going in for a multifocal lens you will notice me implanting the v hex pupil expander so i prefer holding the nub or the knuckle of the expander which gives me a better control over the expansion ring and it helps me to maneuver the ring one step at a time of two enclavation spots so unfortunately the patient is rotating out of the field here but you will very soon notice that the eye comes back now once the pupil expander ring is there i find this device to be very very useful and very interesting and easy to use you notice that the capsular bag is very very loose i will show it in a slow motion rewind there you saw and there is some issue with my capsule rexis forces so i accidentally end up losing the capsule as i'm completing the capsule rexis and i end up creating a vertically oval long linear capsule rexis now during the surgery i'll have to keep in mind that my rexis is small and linear so that i don't damage it with my fico chopper and also remain away from the capsule rexis margin i ensure a good amount of hydro dissection so i rotate the cataract numerous times because this will help me in my irrigation aspiration of the cortex now since this is a very soft cataract i will carefully try and chop the cataract i have to keep in mind that i have a small rexis and i have to avoid the edges of the capsule rexis and even my fico tip has to remain away from the capsule rexis i have achieved one small little chop and created a wedge there now once the wedge has been created i create one more small quadrant and then i flip the cataract into the anterior chamber so that i do not need to work in the bag which is already very loose so i am attempting to rotate the complete cortical plate along with the nucleus into the anterior chamber after creating small little segments this being a sticky and a soft cataract is giving some trouble to me but nevertheless i have created small little wedges and now i will finally try and hold one of the wedges and flip the cataract into the anterior chamber and from now on let's just fast forward the video and you will see i have managed to flip the whole cataract into the anterior chamber and the cataract aspiration is nearly over you need to be very careful when operating such sticky cataract especially in bags which are having weak zonules and you should try and do more of echo emulsification and nuclear management at the iris plane but while you are doing that in presence of a b hex pupil expander you need to be careful so that you don't dislodge the ring now we proceed to remove the cortex you remember when you have a weak zonular bag do not try and pull the cortex in a radial manner towards the center it's always a good idea to do side to side movements so that the pulling forces are not all directed towards one segment of the zonules you will notice i do these peeling movements to make sure that the pulling movement is distributed evenly across over at least one quarter of the segment of the capsular bag there you notice that once again once i hold the cortical matter i do tweezing and separating movements and not pull it directly radially into the center because the weak zonules sometimes the bag may be pulled along with the cortex now we proceed to put viscoelastic and as you can notice the rexis is eccentric and oval so we will want to correct this rexis by creating a larger rexis out of this by doing a capsuloplasty but first things first i would want to take care of weak zonules by using a ctr
or a capsular tension ring the trick of inserting a capsular tension ring is to push in the capsular tension ring in a radial force manner rather than pushing it straight it has to be slowly rotated into place you need to be careful while you are pushing in the last part of the eyelet you need to release it only once you are inside the bag sometimes you may accidentally let go of the ring before it is in the bag to manage that you will find many more videos on my channel now i'm proceeding to put a trifocal lens in this patient once again you need to remember that the rex is oval so try and implant the lens before the haptic opens you will notice that i am waiting for the haptic to just settle down the haptic is still not open my endeavor here is to roll in the haptic into the capsular bag before it opens completely because i have a very small rexus so trying to push in a completely open haptic in weak zonules in a very small rexus could have been tricky so now my trifocal lens is inside the eye now we proceed to do the capsuloplasty so we start by creating a radial nick in that part of the capsule which needs to be extended having done so i hold one lip of that small little nick and extend the capsule rexis trying to make it a circular or a slightly bigger oval capsule rexis and there you see we've extended the capsule rexis again now we create another larger nick because i want the capsule rexis still to be larger here since we are using a, a diffractive lens i don't want an asymmetric capsule rexis which may cause contracture at a later date and cause decentration of the lens so there we've created another nick into the anterior capsule and completed the capsule rexis now we have a decent sized capsule rexis nearly covering a symmetrical area all around the iol Now what is remaining is to doing an opposite side clear corneal incision to correct the astigmatism in this patient this patient has 0.85 diopters of astigmatism so we remove the bx pupil expander by deenclavating it from one area of the pupil you can either remove it from the side of the wound once and deenclavate and pull it out but in this case i have deenclavated from two areas and pull the bx pupil expander i found the the removal of this ring also very very easy in my hands so there you realize that the pupil is still not distorted it's symmetrical so i do a wound hydration now i will proceed after having removed the bx pupil expander now i have to correct the astigmatism Initially from the start only I have positioned my main incision at the steeper axis and bang opposite to my main incision I create an OCCI at the limbus in my hands this sometimes is actually able to take care of astigmatism up to 0.65 to 0.7 so in this particular situation I have taken care of the astigmatism also taken care of a mid dilated pupil put in a ctr and the surgery is gone perfect thank you